respiratory care. Um, the doctor sent me in here to give you some information on what he is sending you home with today. Today you guys will be going home with a nebulizer. Are you guys familiar with that? Yeah, um, I had a couple of issues at the hospital. So okay. I'm going to see you guys there. Okay, okay, good. But before I do the demonstration on how to assemble it, I want to ask you if there is a certain language that you prefer the uh, reading material in. English. Okay. English is fine. Okay. Um, how about how do you learn best? Pictures, videos, or a combination of both? I'm actually more hands on. Okay. Yeah, I like something visual and writing, probably the reference. Okay. Well, I have a combination of both here that I will be giving to you after I'm done here. So before I start with the demonstration, do you guys have any questions for me? Yeah. Why is the doctor um, prescribing the nebulizer for him? Um, so the doctor is just uh, prescribing the nebulizer just because it's a better way to deliver the medication down to the lungs. Sometimes okay. people have um, trouble using an inhaler, so this is just a better method. Oh, good. Okay. So um, I'm going to get started. This is your air compressor. So. <laughs> This one here is battery operated, but they do have some that are able to connect to the outlets. This one is a tube, the tubing that goes into the compressor here. Just stick it in here. This one is your medicine cup. Does it really matter which end? No. This does not matter which end, as long as you stick one in here and then one at the bottom of the medicine cup. So you want to do that. So this one has the mouthpiece already connected to it. But you can always just take it off and put it on. Um, the medicine that you will be taking, the doctor prescribed for you, is a Burol. So it will be coming in a package and you would just rip one off and tear the top off. This opens and you would squeeze the content of the tube, the small vial in here. Throw that away and then you would just close this. So the compressor has an on off button here that you just turn on and hear this. And when you hear that, you wanna make sure that mist is coming out this end. That's how you know it's working properly. Also, when you are taking your nebulizer treatment mark, you want to make sure that you um, are taking full deep breaths through the mouth only and hold one occasionally if you can. Okay. Okay. Um, any questions? I've noticed that every time I take a nebulizer thing, I get like jittery. Yeah, you did mention that. That's a common side effect to the medication. Uh, it usually lasts about 10 to 15 minutes and then it should go away. But if you continue to have that problem, you should uh, consult your doctor. Okay. Okay. Like how long is a um, a home treatment? Uh, treatment usually lasts about ten minutes. Okay. And then toward the end of the treatment, you would hear um, a sputtering sound. So you just um, want to tap the bottle and make sure that you are consuming all of it. And then once you see that you're done, you can easily just take off the uh, tubing and shut it off when you're done. Okay. Okay. So um, I want to disconnect it. Disassemble it, and I want you to teach me back how to do it. Okay. Okay. So first, I just take the tubing and connect it to the compressor. All right. Call one. Um, then I'll go ahead and um, actually first um, put the mouthpiece that attaches to the medicine cup, and then take my computer on. For me? Yeah, how would you clean that? The, how often? And Good question. So after every use, you want to make sure that you um, take the medicine cup off of this. There's no need for you to wet the compressor or the hosing. You want to rinse your medicine cup after every use. Rinse the mouthpiece after every use. So in once a week, you should um, take off all the pieces and submerge them into warm, soapy water. And for about 15 to 20 minutes, 
and then rinse off and just put on a towel and let them air dry. Okay, let me just repeat that back to you. So after each treatment, we're just going to wash these separate little pieces here. Never put any water in or treat them. Right. And then once a week, and we let them air dry for the next week. And then once a week, we'll put the those pieces in warm, sudsy water and wash them and then let them air dry yes. until the next year. Yep. You just okay. rinse out your cup. After every use, you submerge these pieces once a week uh, in soapy water and let them um, rinse them and let them air dry. Okay, great. Okay. Um, so just in case you forget, I have a, a paper here showing you how to use your nebulizer with pictures and steps. So you can use that just in case. Oh, and then also one on creating instructions okay. and how to thoroughly clean it as well. Perfect. Okay? Okay. All right. I think you guys got it. Thank you. Okay, thank you.